Hello everyone, my name is Wanchapano and welcome back to yet another video. This time the video is going to be a bit different and it's going to be the first part in a multitude of videos, depending on how much you guys like them, of fixing the recolors. So for this video, I got three. Next video will probably be another three, but we're going to have to just wait and see what's what happens. So yeah, let's begin. All right, so the first bait I wanted to do a uh, fix recolor of is Magma Rock Dvor. And right now I'm doing something that could be a bit controversial to some, which is uh, tracing, but I'm only tracing just to make sure that the de I could see the details because it's really hard to get uh, some of the details and I am struggling right now with a new tool um, that once I do learn how to use, it did um, help me quite a lot. And it's, it's actually very surprising that I didn't know about this tool until one day I just until I recorded I was like you know what, I want to try this and so after changing the color of the middle piece I then changed the color of the inner middle piece but none of these colors were finalized as um, you'll see right now that when, that when they try to change the color of the plastic it also changed the uh, part of the color that I already edited and so after banging my head for like 10 minutes I just decided to redo the whole thing this time starting with the plastic and I, um, since everything was was modified, I decided to just change to erase the parts I didn't want the color to be altered just yet. I changed the color of the core to more of a gray, a lighter color by right? just desaturating it. And then um, I tried to do the same with the middle, although I had to use a color replacement tool because the hue uh, fix tool thing, I don't know what it's called, uh, wasn't really doing it for me. And so once I was done with the core, um, it was time to work on the actual rock for face of the bay. Once I was finished tracing up the, the thing, I was experimenting to see if I could change the colors of multiple things at the same time and once I learned that I did, this helped me save so much time as many bays are very um, symmetrical so changing the color on one side or to be exactly the same as the other was going to be difficult without me learning how to do this so yeah it was a big help. So after tracing I, I changed the plastic part of the faces to a more of a darker blue and change the eyes from uh, what our color was to a red because the in order to make the eyes stick out a bit more now this top part um, to me was like rock divorce crown and with this bay I wanted to go with the frost king or frost queen whatever you want uh, vibe or theme so I changed the crown to be a uh, just a pure, pure white, pure silver uh, crown. I also decided to color some part of the inside of the crown, although that wasn't that big of a difference. And right now I'm just experimenting with some of the brushes because I wanted to have a snowflake design uh, or pattern for the sticker part, but um, after realizing that that wasn't gonna be possible, um, I decided to just continue on with this and not give up because and just try to improvise you know so that's that's all we can do just move forward after changing the color of the inside of where the sticker would be to a, a more darker blue I decided to just use like a paint splatter brush and just make it white so it's like snowflakes uh, instead that it's just very very small 
because I was thinking of making them big, but you know what? Small ones work too. Now I'm just uh, changing the color of the three side wings to a more blue uh, color instead of a turquoise color because I felt that the um, color was way too simple. The bay was in itself was way too simple. And so after doing that, I decided to just fill in some of the gaps with some silver in order to kind of make silver and white a bit more present into the color. And once that was done, that was done. The next bay I decided to change the or fix the recolor of is the white dynamite Belial. Now this isn't one I, I currently have as of the recording of the audio because the video and audio were recorded on different days. Um, anyways, uh, right now I'm doing the same thing as before where I just, I'm just tracing and it was a lot harder to trace on this one because uh, the details is really hard to, to notice on some of the stuff. So, it was pretty hard, but I got through it. After making sure that there was no more detail that I missed on the core, I decided to also begin with the tracing on the wings because this time I wanted to finish up all the tracing before I start changing the colors. Uh, just to make the whole process a lot faster, that's it. There's no other reason for it. So now I'm just trying to make a copy of the uh, rendition of the bay to align up with the original one and for some reason I was having a lot of trouble with it so I just ended up just saying screw it whatever I'm just leaving it as it is in order to start beginning with the other parts because this one was already taking quite a while so the first thing I did was changing the uh, middle piece to more of a purple color because I felt like the centerpiece being all one color was a bit boring and really um, wasted potential for, for color. So now I am going to change the color of the eyes and I wanted to make this uh, the eyes yellow because the red really didn't make sense to me as red was not really present in any other aspect of the bay so I wanted to make sure that the color scheme kind of match and well I just added some, some pink right there uh, or purple I should say in order to make the crown of Belial a bit more um, or to stand out just a bit more and I actually finished up coloring uh, the crown because for some reason Hasbro decided to just do the pointy things and not the wing looking part of the crown uh, which was a bit hard for me to trace but you know what it is what it is and so I just changed that to uh, a yellow color trying to, uh, as best as possible to get the same color as the already painted part of the crown although I didn't really get to do that and so after change or coloring the bottom part of Belial's face uh, to pink or purple um, I, put, I made the inside be uh, gray and not transparent after struggling with the tool a bit more, um, I decided to get working on the support wings as I like to call them because they're really just a support, they don't really do much damage on their own. So I'm just tracing them so I'm able to just change the color of all of them all at the same time. And I realized that I accidentally deselected two of them so I had to do the whole thing again. So yeah, that's, that's a lot of fun. Now 
now that they were all selected, I decided to try out different ways, or different methods, and see what colors I like on the wings the most. And I obviously went, ended up choosing this purple color. Now, uh, right now, I'm trying to, well, I'm going to be painting the sticker part, and I was going for an, a crystal shine type of look. Because I wanted this bay to have an amethyst stone crystal, I don't know what it's, it is, amethyst color scheme, although when I got to this part where I try to imitate a, the reflection of stone, I realized that it didn't look so good, so I decided to make it yellow and decided, hey, you know what, music man time, let's go. So I moved the guidelines that I used onto the other wing and set it and just redid the process you know painting random parts yellow other parts pink and the other parts purple and this is the same process I would do for the final wing although the last wing I did struggle a bit more on but you know what it's, it's good So now with this final wing, I was finally done with the Music Man Dynamite Belial. So yeah, the final bay I decided to change the or fix the recolor um, for this episode is Cyclone Rock Tour. And this time the outlines for the tracing is in white and not in black because the plastic was already black, so it would make no sense. See, the whole point of this was to help me uh, see the details so uh, by making it black I won't be able to see that jack shoot so yeah I just did the same thing as before trace all everything anything that I considered detail I uh, trace and I think a lot of people should at least try to examine more of the detail on these things because it's a lot of stuff you don't even realize that is part of the design until you actually start tracing it and the reason I changed everything to a purple was because I wanted to get rid of the blue of the middle core piece right there on the side. So I changed it to a green because I wanted to go with a black or red rose for this one because I thought I was originally going to make it into like a fire thing, but there's a lot of fire related stuff. So you know, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a rose. And so yeah, the whole color scheme for this one the rose and this is probably the one that took the longest but also the one that I had the most amount of fun with because I took the liberty of making detail or not really making but I decided to oh you, you'll see you'll see you'll see I won't ruin the surprise anyways just like with the first rock of I decided to change the the outside plastic to more of a red and change the middle core into a a green although I'm pretty sure I changed that color I'm not too sure oh, yeah. now this part is the one that took the longest because for some reason tracing the crown um, was really hard because not only was there a lot of detail but I also kept on um, deselecting it on accident so there's gonna be a cut that you guys will probably not so you guys won't have to sit here and See me struggle for 30 hours. After 30 hours of trying to, uh, trying and trying again about the crown, I just changed it to a black, which is kind of dumb because the plastic was already black, but you know what, whatever. I also decided to change the eyes to more of a yellow in order to make them stand out just a tiny bit more. So, yeah, small things like those. And I also made the inside of it more of a, of a red because um, as I was making this, I got an idea for a different series, which I won't say the name of, but I'll just say this. This bay would be owned by a very bratty girl who thinks far too much of herself and loves roses and thinks she's a queen. That's all I'll say. That's all I'm going to say about that series. And although I might tell you more at the end, don't expect this series that I thought to come thought as I was making this video to come out anytime soon because I have way too much stuff in my in my schedule for the, especially for the YouTube stuff because 2020 I don't oh know 2021 I didn't post anything so all the videos I wanted to do that year I'm gonna have to release them this year so yeah don't expect that series to come out anytime soon 
but it's a series that I think um, that will be a lot of fun. So I changed the face of Rock Toward to be more, more of a darker red in order to help uh, the faces stand just a bit more. And I didn't even realize when I changed the outer core to a black and the inner core to a red. And I decided to change the outside of those and the other put little side pieces into gray. I don't know what they're called. Anyway. Now here is when the rose thing really started to, or I think the rose thing really popped out here because um, what I'm doing right now is trying to imi imitate Thorn and eh, it took a while but I think I did a decent job although I'm sure that um, others would do a better job. It's, it's just fine. For what this is, I think that I did a pretty decent job. So I'm just making Thorns. That's all I'm doing right now. So now I'm just changing the colors because I wanted to change the color of the wings but I didn't know what into or how to do it. So it took a while, uh, a couple, couple of tries, screw, um, my drawing tablet was kind of glitching out for some reason. But it was all good because eventually I decided to just keep, them, keep the wings red and just change everything else to black. Uh, which I think is was the best, uh, a better outcome because it would be a lot easier to do. I just used a color replacement tool on the parts I wanted black and just kept the red where I wanted the, it to stay red. So now I'm kind of uh, making the, in, I'm using the color replacement or I'm tracing and then I'm going to use the color replacement tool to change the inside of the wings to more of a black or dark gray in order for there to be able to have the thorns because uh, I wanted the, I was originally going to make the thorns just on this part but I decided to also put them in the core because I, I had felt like there was, I wasn't making enough detail so yeah. I was making the thorns on this and this is when I realized that, um, that the thorns are actually red on the image I was using so I changed the thorns to all the thorns to be a red and not a dark green because you know what that's what references are for to make sure you don't screw up. So now I'm changing the outside of the blade to uh, red. And with that, I was finally done with this one. And with that, we come to a close with the first in a multitude of videos of fixing the recolors. All of them had a theme, although I'm not too sure if future recolors would also have a theme. I will try. I'll try my best. Um, but anyway, here's a there's side by side of each one. Um, I think I did a pretty good job, you know, for for what this is and what my limited skills are. I think I did a pretty good job. The series I mentioned before when I was making the, or fixing the recolor on Rock Devore, um, don't expect that series to come out soon, like earliest uh, December of this year, I'm pretty sure. Because I have another project coming up for the channel that I've been working on for years. And I am not exaggerating when I say I am very excited to finally be able to release that thing because again I've been working on it for years I really hope that all of you guys are going to enjoy that but I can't reveal anything else yet why because my schedule says so all right so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video leave a like if you like subscribe if you want if you don't want to miss out any future fixed recolors or any other future potential projects I end up doing down the line ring the notification bell button in order to always get notified when whenever i upload uh either a video for blade lead or bakugan because i do both there's going to be links in the description down below for some bays if you guys want to buy some you know it, it helps the channel helps you guys you know and i think they're a pretty good price with that being said thank you so much once again for watching the video links in the description for not only these blade lead and bakugan store but also for Instagram and literally everything else is going to be titled everything else. So thank you so much once again. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe. 
and turn on notifications in order to stay updated. And until next time, thank you so much. This has been 1.0 and until we meet again.